Let's make the funk lead from Anomaly's rendition of Come Running to Me by Herbie Hancock. You can download this preset along with over 150 other useful presets in my pack called Sounds You Know. A link for that's in the description. To get started, initialize preset. Make sure you choose basic shapes under factory. We're going to use the Sawwave for oscillator 1 and raise this one 2 octaves. For all three of these, we're going to lower phase randomization to 0. So let's just do that. Open up all three oscillators. Now on oscillator 2, I'm going to make this a triangle wave. That's going to be up one octave. And then the third oscillator is going to be a sine wave. And that's at zero semitones. Let's hear how this sounds. Now let's add a little bit of attack time to the amplitude envelope. So let's set the attack of envelope one to 0 0.03. Then open up filter one. For filter one, let's turn on the resonance to 25%. And then we're going to control the cutoff with a macro. So slide this all the way over, drag over macro 1, and let's set this to 0 0.4. Let's label this low pass cutoff. Let's make sure we're routing in oscillators 2 and 3 as well. And let's turn on a little bit of key tracking, 25% will do. And then let's control the drive with macro 2. So drag over macro 2. And for the drive here, let's set this to 0.25. Let's label this filter drive. Now let's use an envelope to control the cutoff of our filter. So I'm going to use envelope 2, drag that over. And I'm going to assign this modulation amount to 27. Then let's lower the attack and control this with macro 3, so drag that over. And let's set this to 0 0.195. Now let's lower the sustain of this envelope. And then let's set the decay to 0 0.57. And then grab this point to make it more curvy. Now let's make this preset more responsive and playable. One way to do that is by using the velocity control. So I'm going to drag that over to the cutoff of filter 1. And then I'm going to reduce that modulation amount to 31. So now envelope 2 is moving the cutoff of filter 1 up and down 27 semitones. And the starting point of that cutoff is being determined by velocity. So you can hear, the harder I play the note, the brighter the sound will be. Another thing we can do with velocity is add velocity tracking so that higher velocities are louder. So I'm going to add in 40%. Now I'm going to take use of macro 4 and I'm going to use that to control the level of oscillator 3. So drag down the level of oscillator 3 and drag over macro 4. Let's set this to 0 0.4, and let's label this sub. Now the last thing I want to do is add in vibrato. So I'm going to use LFO1 to do that. I have vibrato already set up in my template, which is a feature of Vital 1.5 and later. But I'll show you how to do that if you don't have it set up. So. With LFO1, I'm going to turn this to a triangle and then set the phase to 0 0.25. Then I'm going to set the frequency to 0 0.25 as well. And then I'm going to go to the Advanced tab. Now hold Shift and drag this over to the Tune here. And then drag Mod Wheel over to that modulation amount. Now let's set this modulation amount to 1. And let's hear what the mod wheel sounds like. Now it's pretty wide and a little bit slow for a vibrato. So another thing I can do is control the frequency of LFO1 with the mod wheel as well. So drag over mod wheel over to the frequency. And let's lower this to 0 0.04.
And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.